Hello friends, this video on Amines part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Examples. So here again first compare with NH3. So if you see here, only one hydrogen is intact, other two hydrogen is replaced, so it is 2 degree. That is first thing. Since it is 2 degree, we can't use the normal easier names. Then you need to find the one with the longest carbon. So this is my longest carbon. So this is my chain now. And this is the extra substituent on this nitrogen. So we have now first let me write the common name. A common name if you see this nitrogen has one ethyl and one methyl. So it will be one ethyl and one methyl attached to this nitrogen. So it, let's start with the alphabetical order A, B, C, D, E, E comes first. So it will be ethyl, methyl, amine. That is a common name. We talk about the IUPAC name now. I have to find the longest chain. This is my longest chain with the carbon. It stops here. I should not take this also in the part of chain. This is my longest chain. Now you see this CS3 is a substituent. Right? And since it's attached to N, that is nitrogen, I'll use this word N methyl for this guy. Now this is done. Now the longest chain has two carbon meth it. So it will be it all single bond in and then mine. Join this. So it is N methyl ethanamine. Why N methyl? Because this methyl is attached to my nitrogen. So it is N methyl and then a normal ethanamine. Correct. Let's see this. Let's compare this with ammonia NH3. So you will see that all the hydrogen is replaced with methyl. Correct. So it is 3 degree. So we want to write the common name. It's pretty easy because there are three methyls attached. So it is trimethyl amine because the common name is of the format alkyl amine, right? Alkyl amine. So that was easy. Now let's talk about the IUPAC name. So if we talk about the IUPAC name, you have to take one branch. This is my longest chain. Others, if you see, are two substituents attached to this nitrogen. Correct? So there are two substituents attached to this nitrogen. We'll use N and dimethyl for this. Please note for these two substituents, and there are two substituents. I'm using N and dimethyl. Had there been a ethyl group here, I'd have used N and N methyl and ethyl, something of that form. But since there are two attached to this nitrogen, I'm using N and dimethyl, and now this chain. That is, it has only one carbon, so it is meth. All single bond in amine. So it is N N dimethyl methanamine. That is the IUPAC name for this compound. Correct. See in the same compound, if we had something like this, C2H5, then what we should have done? So in that case, this is C2H5, so we'll take this as the longest chain. So this is my longest chain. Again, if you see at nitrogen, I have two methyl. That will become two N and dimethyl, and this will become ethanamine. Please note in this case, which I have just drawn, I can't take this as the longest chain. I can't say N methyl or N ethyl N methyl methanamine. That is wrong. I have to take this as the longest chain. This is wrong. This is right. Correct. So once I have the longest chain, I have two substituents. This is wrong. Correct. Let's take some more examples to clear our concept. So in this case, we have to write IUPAC name in the common name. Let's start with the common name. So if you see, this is also a tertiary amine because all this nitrogen is replaced with some alkyl. Right. So it's a methyl, methyl here, ethyl here and meth ethyl butyl here. Correct. And this butyl is nothing but my N-butyl, a normal butyl. So I have butyl 
an ethyl here correct two ethyls and one butyl so let's start with the convention a b b comes first so i'll use n butyl please note n is not considered for alphabetical order here n butyl and then two ethyl so diethyl and amine because the common name is pretty easy here alkyl amine so that is the common name let's start with the iupac name for iupac name again we'll take the longest chain this is my longest chain and then these two will be my substituent group right so at 2n i have i mean two alka al ethyl group at this nitrogen so i'll again use this word nn diethyl correct because for these two substituent groups and then if you see the longest chain as meth ethro but four carbon so but all single bond in and then amine had there been let's suppose a double bond here since the numbering will be in this fashion 1 2 3 4 if there is a double bond here we'll say but 1 2 in amine correct so in the same case if you put a double bond here the name will be n n diethyl that will be same but this will become but 2 in amine so this will be for this category so pretty easy actually right for iupac name find find the longest chain and then if you have hydrogens attached to this nitrogen good for you if not use this word n and then alkyl and if they are same n n dialkyl okay right? for example in this case instead of c2h5 i had ch3 here let's suppose so we'll put a different color so this is c ch3 here let's suppose so in this case the naming will be what so in this case if you see this chain is intact and this i am taking the single bond chain only now we see there is a methyl group and ethyl group here so in case of n and diethyl i have methyl and ethyl so which comes first a b c d e comes first so it will be n ethyl n methyl and the same butanamide right i'm not taking this uh, double bond here in this case i'm just taking this 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 compound correct so if nitrogen has other high two hydrogens life is simple for you if not use this n ethyl n methyl and if they are same use n and diethyl and then this part is pretty much same let's take this guy now let's write the common name first so common name for this will be what so common name we know is always of this form alkylamine so what is the alkyl group here this is allyl group actually we know that this is allyl group correct allyl group so it will be allyl amine this is the common name if you want to know the iupac name number it in this fashion so in this nitrogen uh, the others are hydrogen so life is better for me so this is meth eth prop 3 so it is prop at second position i have a double bond two in right and at one position i have amine so i can say one amine or i can just say prop two in amine one is not even required so that is my iupac name please note the numbering has to start from here this is incorrect numbering why because ns2 group the carbon that is attached to ns2 group that is my star carbon should get the least possible number correct let's write the iupac name for this compound so if you see this is six carbon long chain so it will be hexane and please note here e is retained and then at 1 and 6 position so if you see this compound is something like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have ns2 here i have ns2 here 
one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a chain. So at one and six position, I have amine here. So at one, six, diamine. This will be the IUPC name for this compound. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.